It causes stress, it causes mom guilt, it causes self-criticism when a mom can't find the right provider, and it causes 1.8 million women to leave their careers who don't want to right. because they can't find right. affordable, accessible care. So the challenge is, uh, I think we were considered, I remember the term latchkey kids, but the idea that my mom worked, and so we get home from school, and there's that period of time, and I just remember how real that was, but now as a parent, and my wife, when she looks for caregivers, if we want to do anything at work, we have to find someone to babysit. And so how, tell us the, really, if you're a mom, how does this work? So I realized that what I needed was to fill this niche. And I tried lots of different ways to do it mm -hmm. without spending a lot of money and without building another app that maybe no one would use. When do you need care? What days, what times? Mm -hmm. Where do you need care? Are you willing to have a mother who's bringing her own children with her or who has her own children at home mm -hmm. providing care or do you need someone who doesn't have kids? So these very basic questions, how much can you pay? I have two different intake forms that I call our surveys, our need survey and our provider survey. And then I've created a proprietary algorithm, thanks to my son who graduated with a computer science degree, mm -hmm. to match them. It's tricky to find someone only to work one time or part time or just certain hours. 